Hey guys, the objective for this video is going to be to find the wind pressure on the leeward, on the windward, leeward, and side wall and roof. And just in this video, we're going to be doing the windward. We're ignoring area reduction and combination factor, and the dynamic response factor is given as one. So the formula for pressure is 0.5 times the density of air times V des comma theta squared times C fix times C dynamic. Okay, so where's this from? This is from section. 2.4.1 page 12 okay so if I show you this section over here zooming in so we have the pressure is 0.5 air V des theta C fix C dynam this is the design wind pressure and it's given in Pascals all right so we're just gonna write down some values straight away that we know using this formula we know that the density of air is 1.2 kilograms per meter cube that's just given just below it it says over here, the density of air shall be taken as 1.2 kilograms per meter cubed. Okay, so we know that. We also know that the design wind speed is 36.271 meters per second. We found that in the previous video. And the last thing we know is the dynamic um, factor uh, is 1.0. So it says over here, the dynamic response factor um, shall be taken as 1.0, except where the structure is wind sensitive. So there's no mention of the structure being wind sensitive. And the question also said the dynamic response factor is one. So we just take it as one. So, so far we've already worked out that factor, that factor, and, and that factor. We just need to find C fig. So C fig is the aerodynamic shape factor. Now C fig equals all of this. So it's from section 5.2, page 27. So flipping over a couple pages, page 27, we have the evaluation of the aerodynamic shape factor. Now, because we're finding the wind on the, uh, on the windward wall, it's an external pressure, okay? So this is C fig when it's for external, C fig for internal. So we'll be looking at this a bit later, but for, for windward wall, that's an external pressure. So it's C, P, K, A, K, C, K, L, K, P, 